what's going on y'all, Jimmy Macrum. Time for episode five, season four, AKA book four of The Legend of Korra. Also book episode six, relatively certain. Let's get to it. Now contact President Raiko. He'll send the United Forces. Call whomever you want, but they'll never make it in time. Kavir <laughs> is already here and she brought her entire army. She told me she was not playing around. That's why we need Bolin. Do you really think we can rely on him? Sue trusts him. She'll listen to him. Are you sure we should be going to- There's strategy going on, go Dad ahead. Dad wanted us to bring Milo. There's not gonna be a fight. Kuvira saved my- She was a captain in Sue's guard. I think she can be reasoned with. What? Julie, is this thing on? My man. We're rolling, sir. In this stasis capsule is a preserved spirit vine sample weighing approximately two Julies. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Ah! Ah! Julie! Ah! Oh, shit. You know, you could stand to lose a few Julies. I think you're just weak, sir. Pull harder. So true. Ah! Aww. I can't clean this place up by myself. Grab a broom! What happened? Were we attacked? Should I listen? Uh, no! No! Head voices are liars! What do head voices know? I'll work on the project! Please don't drop me! Ah! Not Bambas anymore. We don't attack Varric. Outside of Azula and Uncle, I think Varric might be my favorite character in this universe. I'm here to protect these. Never open them. Stop writing. Oh, that's dead! But in a life of regret. You're the one thing I look back on that makes me smile. I just want you to know I'm so proud of you, Asami. Aww. You goddamn beautiful. I can do that. By the time I'm finished telling her all the great things we've done, she'll be begging to join. Good, because we're here. I love that. You're here to present peace. God damn! Leave! Zalfu will never accept you as their leader. Then you leave me no choice. You have 24 hours to agree to join the Empire, or we take the city by force. Well, I'm shocked. You've been through this before. I'm so confused. And a bunch of other people are here, too. Oh, no. I hope we're not too late. Not yet. When people don't cooperate, we must find other ways of convincing them to join. Other ways? How many times have we used these other ways in the past? It's not for you to worry about. Oh, so, he did uh, not. Now that you're in the inner circle, you're going to have to accept some hard truths. Maybe I'm not really an inner circle kind of guy. Or, or maybe the only thing I'm second guessing is the decision to bring you along. Maybe you need to spend some time in a re-education camp. Oh shit! Thought on your side, completely, 100% loyal. Oh, boy. They are tired of being treated like exotic birds in your cage. If you leave now, you will never be welcomed back. When I choose to return, it'll be on my own terms. Kuvira and Batar left that day with Vera. God. My Once she refused to step down, I knew it was only a matter of time until she made her way back here. I want to fix this. You can. Go into the Avatar state and demolish her army. God damn. Remove Kuvira. Maybe I can reason with her. No. Kuvira doesn't listen to reason. She's right about that. He's been threatening villages this whole time. We gotta get out of here. I couldn't agree more, kid. <laughs> Please, take your army and leave. I think we both know that's not going to happen. That was easy. Yes, she said no. Lying in the sand. That's cool. I, I won't make any moves until you talk to her and get back to me. Maybe that will be for the best. Have you seen Bolin? He came by to see Varric, but we turned him away. Open the door. This voice is very. I say we go up and around the mountains and sneak into Zalfu from the rear. We're not going to Zalfu. That place is doomed. We gotta head to Republic City. What? Doomed. No, 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 no. Let me think about this. Ah! Shit. Right, Julie. I love her. He's so aggressive. He's so 
like the second time he's growled. Hey! I think I figured it out! Sir, you're making this very difficult. Hey. Help. Help. Woo. Turn yourself over <laughs> or else. Thanks a lot, Julie. <laughs> That's hilarious. I want to make amends. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to forgive you, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't try. Oh. I thought we could play some pie show, like we used to. Nothing would make me happier. Beautiful. When I look past all the times he ridiculed me or ordered me around or made me clean his disgusting feet because I thought he possessed the most brilliant mind in the world. But when I met you, I realized I was wrong. Did everything you ever asked of me and you never appreciated it. Guards, do the thing. No! Not the thing! Julie! That actually hurts. I'm hoping this is part of a plan. Where's it hurt. I have to talk. I'm going to sneak into Kuvira's camp and put an end to this. No. Put an end to this? That's cartoon pal for murder. Assassination, even. We end her reign of terror. I'm very impressed with so. This plan feels. Extreme, um, but I'm here for it. She's alone in there. Now's our chance. Don't hurt me, Julie. Damn. And now you're afraid of a fair fight. You've always been a coward. Take them. You went for it. You, you, have to shot. Stop you can't just attack Kuvira. I don't care about the oath. I have to save my family. No, Janora is right. Your mom attacked the camp. Kuvira is just defending herself. Cora, what are we going to do? Janora and I will go talk to Kuvira at dawn, and maybe we can work something out. I promise I'll do everything I can to keep... Make sure they get back to Tenzin safely if anything goes wrong. Aw, oh, man. When am I going to see some action? I like the course of trying, but uh No. Release them now! If Sue agrees to bow to me and turn over Zhao Fu, she and the rest of your family will not be harmed. Never! I know he would never go along with this. Bolin is with my fiance working on something very important. But I assure you he's on board with my plans. You two have been apart for some time. I guess you don't realize Take her down. You know it's the right thing to do. You have to stop this. The only way you're going to keep me from marching into Zalfu is if you physically stop me. Ooh. Now what so rather than risk your lives, I will fight the Avatar one on oh, one. Oh shit! Cora, if you win, then you can do whatever you want. Is she like a wash, Cora? But I <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> You want to fight the Avatar? Then let's finish this. Right here, right now. She's mad confident. I think she's about to wash Cora. I don't like this at all. Don't mess around. Kuvira is too good. Just go into the Avatar state and get it over with. No, I'm only going to use that as a last resort. Be careful. She's rusty. She ain't want to fight in forever. Kuvira's been washing use whatever you for want. years. Enough talk. Last time we ran the current through the vine, we couldn't control the power. So I'm trying something new to see if I can direct it. We have to help 
more. Stay back. I can handle this. Can you? When they write the history books, your name will be synonymous with betrayal. People will say, hey, what happened to that guy? Oh, didn't you hear? He varicked himself because some girl juleed him. Enough. <laughs> what makes you think we... I thought, well, now do I really need the timer anymore? Because I got a remote in my head. Whatever. I'm covering all my bases. The point is, you're leaving. We're staying. <laughs> We are so unbothered by her. Uh, Woo! Uh, Finally, some offense of some guy. Uh, it's extreme. Oh! Uh, 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 uh. Agreement. Attack! Fair enough. Ah, pedestrian. I already know what you look like on the outside. I want you to show me the inner amazing. Looks like Napoleon, actually. I admit, you had me going there for a while. I really thought you were gonna blow us up. Now, how do we turn this thing off? Oh, we can't turn it off. We're gonna blow up. But we had a pretty good run, right? What are you talking about a good run? I'm still <laughs> running! I like running! Very good. Julie. I want you to know I hate you. It's a savage, and I love her, and hate her. I'm so disappointed in you, Junior. Take them away! Get your hands off me! You're crushing my individuality! <laughs> Batar built the most powerful weapon the world has ever seen. It would be my honor, Great Uniter. Begin dismantling the domes. Was episodes five and six of the Legend of Korra season four, book four, where to begin? That was a little difficult to watch. I've said before, and I'm saying it again: seeing Korra get her ass beat will never be okay to me. She's rusty. She's out of practice. Kabira is a savage of the highest order, and she washed Korra. In fact, Korra had to go into the Avatar state. To make any kind of headway. Um, and then she started freaking out again. I'm glad you guys didn't spoil that for me. Because I just said I was on the fence about it being a, a uh, physical problem she was having instead of a mental one. But it just popped back up again. She saw herself. She freaked out. And then Gabriel got the drop on her. I just want her to be okay. She seems very not core cool right now. I do enjoy Kavira though. As a villain, I like her a lot. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the very short backstory we got, which is that uh, she was working for Sue, and then Sue turns down, so now she's a complete animal of the highest order. It could be as simple as power corrupts, but I would like to know more about her like history, history. Like as a kid, did she need strength at the time? She didn't have any, and then and then and then. Um, that aside, I, I, I am, I am a fan. Um, more importantly, through these two episodes, my favorite character in Legend of Korra, one of my favorite characters in the Avatar universe, Varric and Julie, are getting their own, like, little thing here. I was here for it. I was here for that moment they shared on a train for half a second before Varric was a dickhead. Uh, I was here for the breakup, you know, it makes me very sad and hopeless for some kind. Um, and I'm here for Barrack realizing how much he misses her. I'm sh I ship it. I'm here for it. 
Julie does seem significantly um, conflicted about the situation she's in. Not exactly most enthusiastic about it. I really hope that works out. I hope it works out. I, I like them together a lot. You know I love Barrick. I'm starting to love Julie. I just... See. See. And more importantly than all of that, we haven't got Mako much at all this season. Um, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Malcolm. Top of episode 7 and 8 of season 4 of The Legend of Korra. Let's get to it. How about you use your own legs for a while? You know, when I fled Republic City with Julie, she carried me 20 miles in one day. And that was after she sprained her ankle. Well, Julie's not here, okay? All right, I'll take the driver's seat for a while. Hop on. Oh, great. My feet could use a break. Uh, not happening. Okay, oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> no! <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's so good to see you again. You too. And I'm loving the hair. Thanks. No You're looking. Hair. Thought it was just going to be the three of us. Sorry, I couldn't ditch him, but he promised to be on his best behavior. Hey, pop into the Avatar state for me. I want to see your eyes glow. What? No. Aww. So can you go into the Avatar? <laughs> or bowl in? I don't know. I guess I didn't know what to say. A hello would have been nice. Mako, if it makes you feel any better, she didn't write me either. Why would she... Good afternoon, sir. Perhaps a spritz of cologne to freshen up? Make it a double, buddy. Yeah. Woo! You in here? Come on, your octopus fritters are getting cold. Maybe. I'll be back in three years. Haven't seen him. Hmm, I'm in laundry. Ah! Damn! I know these streets better than you. I built some of them. Oh, oh, oh. oh that works out. Oh, I feel like a dumbass. The one time I don't watch him pee, and this is what happens. We'll see about letting you go. If he wanted us gone, we'd be at the bottom of a pool of lava right now. If any of us want to get out of the Earth Empire alive, we'll have to trust each other. All right, where's this checkpoint? Oh, I am in sore need of a shower, and I have blisters that are the size of cantaloupes and twice as juicy. So you can let us through, or you can give me your name and rank, and I'll pass it on to Kuvira. You know what happens to soldiers who question her orders, don't you? Bad stuff! My man. Let them through. Oh, guy's voice, though. Oh, guard. Oh, shit! Ha, 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 ha! <laughs> Wait! Stop them! They're traitors to the Empire! have to come back. Yeah, I kind of did. Let's go.
He's on that train! He's in there earlier, Mom. Don't go get mad at him. You wouldn't have to if you had guarded the prince like you were supposed to. Oh, so it's my fault Wu disappeared. Yes. It's certain. It's hard. I guess after being apart for three years, there's bound to be a bit of an adjustment period. Yeah, but it's great to have you back. There's no place else I'd rather be. <laughs> Muckle, it's so wonderful to... <gasps> Are you? Grandma, Ready? this is Prince Wu. <laughs> he needs to stay with you and the family yeah, for a little while. On that hunk of junk? No, thanks. No. I'm allergic to drowning. <laughs> I mean, uh, we'd love a lift. Yeah. Are we talking? Yes, let's go! Ah, I wasn't ready! Woo down! <gasps> What's going on? Hmm. Mako, how dare you injure the prince? Would you yeah, I'm drawing a blank. Why is that? How do I not know stuff about you? Uh, you never asked? Well, I'm asking now. What's your favorite food? What's your favorite color? Oh. Is there a special lead? Come here. I want you to meet my brother, Mako. Mako? Wow, I, I heard you play on the radio. Come on, Bolin, we're up. Whoa, that was the first time you met? Kind of rude there, he buddy. He was a cunt, absolutely. You know what else is rude? He's still a cunt. In but it made things with Korra... complicated. So I was thinking we should spend some time together. Look, I really like you, and I think we were meant for each other. <laughs> you player. Whoa, I thought you were dating Asami. Two, get out of here. No, Dimako. You take after your grandfather. Yeah. Guys, Grandma. Oh, and then you two lived happily ever after? <laughs> um, what's with you inside? Well, excuse me, officer. Don't let me stand in the way of you writing tickets. I'm just trying to save the world. Well, I guess if we're both putting on... If only it had been that simple. <laughs> Mako, I missed you so much. <laughs> Cora. This seemed pretty hey, silly I, I back to back. I thought it was silly then. It's so super you're not silly still now. mad at me? Maybe it hasn't all come back yet. Was it a bad fight? Uh, <laughs> just like your grandfather. Well, me that you end up disappointing everyone. Those words have never been spoken. High five! I think we both know that this, us, it doesn't work. It does not. You're right. It's over. It's a border watch. I better just focus on being a better king. Okay, come at me. I can take it. Ah! Woo down! I know the more you said is uh, kind of a recap episode. I brought instead you some of, tea. Uh, a backstory, you know what? Out here. Fuck it. You're so sweet. It. And it wasn't bad. I enjoyed that. If it weren't for Zaheer, the Earth Queen would still be alive. That'd be awful. There would have been no crisis in the Earth Kingdom, and Kovira wouldn't be in power. You're an inspiration to the world. It's beautiful. Thank awesome. you both. No matter how crazy things get, I'll always try to restore balance. That's beautiful. This is an all-time TV dad. That's when I made a solemn vow never dad, to eat you know, bark yeah. onion soup again in an exotic port of call. A wise sage, the richest merchant in the world, and a handsome devil all sit on a single pillow in the living room of a luxury yacht. How do they all fit on one pillow? Oh, giant pillow. Find my teacher. Oh, come on. I if you want to tell my true story, uh -huh. you should start from when I met Cora. 
She came to the bending arena. During Baron Tom's Fateful night. Favorite character. The spirit world. The world's most evil villains realize that with Korra out of the way, the time is right to try to take out Bolin. So the worst of the worst team up. That ever flew! Wait, Zahir didn't team up with Vatu? How would that even happen? How do you think? <laughs> the evil Unalak, the diabolical but incredibly boring and unpopular sorcerer from the north, who's listening in on the other line. <laughs> I've spent my life trying to defeat Nuktuk, I mean Bolin. And with danger closing in, Opal realizes how much she loves Bolin and forgives him for whatever stuff he was talking about earlier, which will probably not be in the final cut of the mover anyway. She does? Oh. <laughs> Giant Bolin and the evil Unabatu fight toe-to-toe, -to -toe, zapping each other with their laser beams as they stomp around Republic City. It looks like the evil Unabatu might win, awesome. but Thankfin sprays him into the sky. And that's where the stars come from. Oh yeah, he turns into a dragon, he goes into the spirit world and saves the Avatar. The end! Thoroughly enjoyed it, I know that. Never let the truth get in the way of a good story, kid! That was fantastic. That was worth it just for the final story. That was worth it just for King Varric, Goat Varric, the Varric the Great, whatever you prefer. Alright, that was episode 7 and 8 of The Legend of Korra. Where to begin? 8 was pretty much a recap episode. Um... And as much as I enjoyed the first two stories, one told from Mako, one told from Korra, even had that sweet moment from Korra and Tenzin. This is the Varric episode. And to be fair, the first 14 or so minutes is totally worth it for Varric's story. Varric is my favorite character in this universe, bar none. I'm trying to think for, oh, I apologize, not bar none. There's Zula and his uncle. But otherwise, Korra, number one, easily, and in the entire universe, he's third. But hey, but hey, it's a hell of a competition. Um, so yeah, that episode was fine. I even liked them poking fun at Unalak, because you all don't seem to be huge fans of season two. And well, it seems quite a few hate, uh, quite a few of you hated it. I did not hate it, but it is a step down from the other three. Uh, the other two, I, I can't count on four yet, because we're still in the thick of it. Now, as for episode seven, I really like that episode. You know, the more rare we get, the happier we're going to be. I look forward to the reunion between him and Julie, which I believe now, with even more confidence, that we're headed towards. Barrack has realized the the um, mistakes he's made, the the consequences of his actions, the way he spoke to Julie, he treated her like garbage. I think he will come around all the way because he's Barrack, but he will apologize, and Julie will join team. Varric, team right side, um, in the end, and we'll all be happy. Yay. Um, I like Bolin and him saving the uh, deserters? I'm not sure what they're called. Former prisoners? Escapees. That's probably the best word for it. As for everything else, it was fine. Um, I gotta be honest, when Varric gets going, it's hard for me to remember anything that's not Varric related. Sorry. Sorry. Post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. 